Hello and welcome to our beauty, lifestyle and fashion show. Ashake joins David O and Whiskey in making O2 Arena history. Ashake spotted with Chelsea winger Jadon Sancho at O2 Arena. Usher claims X account was hacked and cleared amid Didi's arrest. <laughs> and on our trending segments, following the release of his third album, Lungu Boy, Ashake embarked on a world tour where he headlined notable venues, including the famous O2 Arena. During his landmark concert at the O2 Arena, Ashake thrilled fans with a performance of his hit singles, including tracks from his recently released third album, Lungu Boy. Grammy winner Whiskey and actor Idris Elba were some of the stars present at Ashake's O2 Arena concert. The British actor presented Ashake with a sold out plaque and a Brit silver plaque for his album, Work of Art, with his latest speech of selling out the 20,000 capacity O2 Arena. Ashake joins fellow Afrobeat stars Davido and Wizkid as Nigerians who have sold out the O2 Arena more than once. Hmm, Ashake is making way. So fast. I say so fast. I swear, so fast. <laughs> like 2017, yeah, 18, like, like yeah. so fast. I think he has that grace. God. And I think London girls like him a lot. Have you, have you seen London girls the way they hype Ashake? They and American love, girls love yeah, him. Yeah, exactly. So they love Ashake really much. And this is actually the second time he's selling out the yes, O2 Arena, yes, just yes. like Whiskey wow. and the other people. So he's really making a mark. I really, really like it for Ashake. Yeah, what do I you do think? Too. I think uh, his labels are probably really, really happy. And mm -hmm. I think what made Ashake so ready for this star and ready for this fame mm -hmm. is because I realized that a lot of the songs I've heard in the, mm -hmm. that he's released mm -hmm. in the beginning mm -hmm. and now, I'm sure, is stuff that he recorded a long time ago. Yeah. So, you know, when you drop a single, you have to make sure you have something to back it up because mm. let's go call your one hit wonder. True, and you then know it what I'm dies saying? there. Yeah, so I think, just ends. Yeah, so I think yeah. he had like a lot of songs that he was working on in yeah. the past before he blew that was really, really helping him. Plus, he has the GOAT. What's his name? Olamide. Olamide. He's actually helping yes. push his career and all God. of that. PR. I think PR and the business part of music is actually really important. Yes. That way you make your money and draw people to yes. you. And yes. just like you said, yes. he had songs you yes. know, previously. Yes. So just like you said, if you drop one song, especially as a Nigerian artist, yes. you need other songs. If not, your career will just die immediately. So. Yep. <laughs> 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 that's all the stars. But yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I think that makes sense. And I mean, I'm really happy for him. Well done, Ashake. You're making us proud. <laughs> And on our sports segment, Ashake meets one of his biggest fans and Chelsea winger Jadon Sancho. Ashake headlined the O2 Arena for the second time, making a significant turning point in his musical career. In a now viral video, Ashake and Jadon could be seen exchanging pleasantries and having a conversation. Other celebrities, including Poco Lee, Ayo Mafi, Charles Okocha, and pop icon Wizkid, also attended the event. Poco Lee has gone far ah, with his dancing. Has, yeah, like what? I, I, think, I think from dance. I think I think one thing about the entertainment industry is you need to make good friends. Yes, and you need to be everywhere. Yes, if you're not everywhere, nobody will know you. And nobody yes. will see you. Yes. it might be just that little dancing, but your relationship with yes. other people in the industry is what is actually going to push you. Definitely, because when they are going on tours, they carry you along. Exactly, you know, they really really it. helped him. Yeah. You know what? He's balling. I just saw he bought a brand new G wagon. Poco! This is not going to be falling like this. I swear. You know, falling up and down. That will help I my swear. career. <laughs> because you know what? Just like now, if I blow yeah. and I post you, it's mm -hmm. good for you. Yeah, exactly. It's giving you um, yeah. um, um, mm -hmm. appearance for people. Mm -hmm. If you blow and you post me, mm -hmm. I like... You have I think to have collaboration. Friends. Collaboration yes. is actually really good yes. in the industry. Yes. Collaboration yes. is really, really important if you want to make it as an entertainer wow. in Nigeria. And then I also saw a clip of you know Whiskey and Ashake. Yes. And Whiskey was actually really supporting him. All so real. smiles. He was love so, fake love, right? Yeah, I know. I like, saw that. What's too. the love? The love is so deep, I like saw you can that. see. I and he was that. laughing all through. He was so happy, so chill. You know, normal Whiskey style. Very me. Looking, <laughs> <laughs> looking all chill. But I really love you know the collab. I love the collaborations that are happening in the industry. Yes. It's really pushing them you know forward in. International market. Yes, power to Afrobeat. Yeah, power to Afrobeat. <laughs> yeah. On to our editorial segment. After social media users observed that American singer Usher's Twitter account was wiped clean and called him out on it, he has now claimed that his account was hacked. In the late hours of September 22, 2024, Usher took to X to respond to the speculations regarding all his deleted tweets. He wrote, Account got hacked and damn, you all ran with it. See you tonight at Intuit Dome. But despite his clarification, multitudes of social media users stressed that they did not believe his claims. 
It is worth nothing that all of the Usher's tweets and posts mysteriously disappeared over the past weekend amid the speculations regarding his affiliations with Sean D.D. Combs and the very act filled rumors that the R&B star was distancing himself from the brewing scandal and potential drama. Combs was arrested on September 17th and was taken into custody by Homeland Security Investigations. A 14 page indictment charged him with racketeering, kidnapping, sex trafficking by force, and transportation to engage in prostitution. Girl, that is a mouthful. This this whole D oh, situation is just, a, I don't know, I, I, it's, it's quite irritating. Very, I'm I, still I don't shocked. Know. Yeah, I, I, see, I think a lot of stories are still going to come out from different people. Oh. And what do you think about Osha? Do you think he actually deleted those things? I think he did. Ah! Everybody's trying to do P like trying PR to play now. Safe. Yes, everybody is. And aside playing safe, the whole PR thing, because I mean, the whole delete thing is trending now. So everybody's actually tr trying to like it's jump crazy. on the. Yeah, it's actually really, really crazy. Did you hear what Mick mm -hmm. Mill said? Mick Mill said he wants to give somebody a hundred thousand to figure out. Oh, what affiliation Mick, he has with Mick, PDD. Mick Mills, Everybody needs to just literally yeah, back up. But I think people are going to go Mick. down. I think he's going to snitch on a lot of people. A lot of things are going to come out that we might not even know. Oh, the gist is so, the gist is so sweet for me. I even want to say something. I know. Did you see that all the CEOs are dropping down too? Yeah, all of What's them going are resigning. About that? I saw it. Like six of them. See, this thing is deeper than we actually Girl. think. And I'm trying to tell you now that things are going to unveil and they're going to be dirty. And I think Osha is just really <sighs> trying to play safe. So I think it's better for him. Just if you haven't, just delete because a lot of people are going to be arrested. A lot of interrogations and revelations are going to come to light. So this whole Diddy thing is really messy. I'm really watching to see how the drama is really I going. have one more question. Where is Jay-Z? Jay-Z is living his life. <laughs> but he like, they, they were cool. They were close. Where is Jay-Z See, one thing all about Jay-Z is no matter, even if his house is burning, Jay-Z <laughs> Jay right. is going to Jay-Z still right. going to live. It's just like Beyonce. No matter what it is you say about Beyonce, Jay-Z and their family, they're still going to live life and, you know, pretend like nothing is going on. I think they have mad backup and mad PR as mm -hmm, well. Mm -hmm. So they always have people who tell them, oh, behave this way. Don't yeah, say this thing. Yeah. Stay away from, you know. So I think, see. Let's just look and watch and, watch and see, see how the drama yeah, unfolds. Yeah, we're <laughs> yeah, excited. Exactly. <laughs> And on our new collection, Louis Vuitton has something special in store with its Spring Summer 2025 pre-collection, Cotty or Pharrell Williams, men's creative director for The Mason. Pharrell has captured the essence of the urban dog-walking Dandies cosmopolitan culture, merging practicality with style and celebrating the bonds between canines and their humans. Dog LVS reflects a discerning mentality that values excellence in all aspects of life, even leisure activities like dog walking. Inspired by New York's chic dog walkers, the collection's day wear marries casual comfort with formal touches. Garments offer elegant lines and relaxed silhouettes rooted in the preppy coat seen at the dog shows. Key pieces include flared trousers and skate shorts crafted from tailored and workwear materials presented in a neutral color palette. I think it's actually so cute when they do fashion for animals, yes, right? So I and love then it. you pairing, you can imagine you walk dog in yes. your, you know, your dog, and yes. then you're matching yes. what you're wearing with that. that of your so dog. Cute. I think this is actually really cute. Yes. And Pharrell is such an iconic designer. Yes. He has been yes. in the game for years, and trust me, Pharrell mm. never gets old. The same way he was five years ago is the same way he is right yes. now. Yes. And yes. he's also a very creative genius when it comes to all this, you know, designs and yes. all of that. Yes. Yes. So yes. I think yes. it's gonna put out something really cute. Yes, yeah. and I'm so yeah. excited that. He, LB picked him after mm -hmm. Virgil, R.I.P. Virgil, mm -hmm. to be the creative director yeah. for Louis Vuitton. Mm -hmm. I know he's been killing it for mm -hmm. the re regular lines. I'm sure yeah. this one is going to actually be mm -hmm. a hit as well. Pharrell is iconic. Yes, I love him. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and on Spicy or Not, Madonna set the stage for Dolce & Gabbana's Spring Summer 2025 fashion show during Milan Fashion Week on Saturday arriving in a black lace veil that shrouded her entire body. The Vogue singer paired a matching slip up to their slip dress and corset with a dramatic head covering. Madonna accessorized with a jaw-dropping gold altar gorilla necklace set with giant diamonds and Bianco D. Istra stone carved skulls, plus a gold and crystal crown. Madonna will never get old. She, she, she doesn't rest, to be honest. <laughs> she always I wants swear. to slay. She doesn't care what the trend is. Mm -hmm. Madonna is going to jump on it. And I think she actually, she doesn't look bad for her age. For her age, right? Yeah. And I, I don't know, she loves black so, so much. So gothic. Yeah, she's very gothic. She <sighs> has this gothic style to her. 
gold and black i think they seem to be madonna's favorite colors yeah, and, and lace. she plays it very well in lace, and lace. yeah she loves lace. Yeah. the last time we talked about her on this show she was also wearing <laughs> the lace. lacy pants and all of that so but no, this no. one uh, doesn't look bad at all but i think i'm all for the crown Ooh, i'm all for the crown i, I love mean, it you could, you could tell that that crown is money yes you yes know, and very i want to be heavy mm -hmm. I don't know. I can't really tell. <laughs> Madonna can rock anything, but I mean, she looks okay. Don't forget to catch us up at Spice TV underscore Africa. And until the next episode, do have a lovely time. Bye. Bye.